Hey everyone, this is Steven Robles, the Bearded Teacher here. And it's not every day that you have pretty much every major YouTube creator who's in the tech space reply to the same tweet thread. And I figured that's when you gotta make a video of something. So I tweeted out the other day that I was interested in everybody's storage solution. I'm having a lot of video footage and I need to know what to do with it. So I tagged a couple creators and was hoping for some answers like, should I go with a Synology? Should I do a QNAP? Maybe a Promise Pegasus? And see what they said. One of the first to respond was Sarah Dietschy Rhymes with Peachy. And she said that she uses a Synology with some Seagate drives. Pretty sensible. I thought I might go with the Synology. So that was helpful. I phoned or replied saying it keeps all the raw footage, has a very organized folder structure. Jarvis tweeted, says again, keeps all the raw footage. And of course, Quinn even replied and recommended a $20,000 setup, which I wasn't about to do. Then Knoopsy replied that his whole life is on a few Samsung external SSDs, which I thought was interesting. I'm curious then how much footage must he keep long term, if any? And when I asked, he basically deletes everything. Like, basically as soon as the video is uploaded, I guess it just goes away. And then so many YouTubers after him basically agreed and said they do the exact same thing. Even Marquez Brownlee himself said this is the way, implying that he just deletes everything. He went on to say that maybe he keeps some footage like from interviews and things like that, but most of the footage just goes away. Sam Cole from iUpdate, same thing. You upload the video and the footage just goes away. And among all the people that responded, even Hank Green responded that once it's uploaded to YouTube, everything just gets deleted. Now, Quinn Nelson had the response that many of us were feeling, which was this. Plus guys like Andrew Edwards and Jared Meacham kind of had the same response. Like, where does all this footage go? I guess it's just deleted. The only gif I could think of is this one. I guess all these hours and petabytes of YouTuber tech video stuff is just gone, it's just burned. After the initial shock and knowing that all these YouTubers just delete their footage, which again, it's a lot of footage. You know, as MKBHD said, if he has that many years of raw footage, especially he's shooting probably in 8K, that's just so much space. You would literally need petabytes of servers and data storage, and it's just not feasible to keep that much. Now, when Cooler Heads prevailed, a lot of people said that they just kept their finalized .mov file. So whatever that final render is, the highest quality that you're gonna export, maybe just the file that you put up on YouTube, that you keep that file local on a hard drive, but everything else just goes away, just gets deleted. That leaves me not knowing what to do. I was gonna get a QNAP or a Synology to start storing my footage, but now I'm honestly considering about living the life that a lot of these guys are doing, which is just have a couple SSDs around, one terabyte, two terabyte here and there, keep recent footage, and that's it. Maybe the final render file. And raw footage, I mean, you can download your YouTube videos. Again, you have to trust that YouTube is gonna keep your videos in perpetuity, but you can get them from there, or you can download them from there and save them to an external drive in the future. But maybe this is the way. Maybe this you just delete your raw footage. A lot of people said that they delete their A roll, basically the footage of them talking at the camera, but they keep their B roll shots of products and things like that if they want to use in future videos. So maybe that's the best way to do it. I don't know. If you still want to get in on this tweet thread, they're still going. I'll put a link to the tweet thread in the video description. And I would love to hear from you. A bunch of creators are in there talking about what they do with their footage. So I would love to hear from you in that tweet thread. You can follow me there as well. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for tuning in. Now you know what all these YouTubers do with their old raw footage.